fury of the devil, attacks against prayer and worship. We are friends of the work of God. Today, I want to share with you some special experiences about the attacks of the devil. Although we live in a physical world, all human beings are spiritual creatures, endowed with the soul and the spirit that makes us sons of God through Christ, or that can lead us to damnation if we become children of the devil, the father of life. Satan already started his murderous work with our first parents in paradise and continues with all human beings. It's all about disobeying God so that we lose our souls and cannot enter eternal life. That is why the devil uses all kinds of trickery, not to only tempt us and lead us into sin, but also to prevent us from progressing in the spiritual life. The experiences that have happened to me also have happened to many people, and certainly to some of you who listen to me. Let us remember that even our Lord Jesus Christ himself was tempted three times by the devil. Therefore, it is necessary that we remain vigilant and attentive to overcome temptations. I want to share with you how the devil gets angry when we worship God. And in this seal, sometimes he materializes his evil intention. Or the Lord allows us to see or hear Satan's evil so that we know that we have an enemy that we must overcome. On a certain occasion, I was adoring the Holy Trinity, and I said separately to each of the three persons, I ardently desire and want the salvation of all mankind. When I finished, I had the vision of a sorcerer of about 55 years old. He was bearded with a mustache and with long hair, half gray, abundant trees. He had on a sorcerer's hat without wings. He also wore a black suit like a priest. His face was full of hatred his right eye wide open. It looked wide like a wolf, the left eye a little closed, his rage was shown and his eyebrows drawn close together and slanting downward. This vision shows me how the devil is irritated when we worship God. Continuing my adoration another night, I saw a garbage dump, and among the garbage I could see a thick snake of light colors moving there. The Spirit gave me to understand that the devil is always in the middle of the dirt. That is why we must keep the soul clean. Two days later, while praying the same prayer before my little altar, I had a vision of my cell phone being violently thrown from the altar to the ground. And it has also happened to me several times when I am doing my adoration that I hear a voice telling me, go away. I have also heard him say, not so much prayer, it is not necessary. A long time ago, he tried to prevent me from receiving the Eucharist, and he would tell me, don't receive it. In his desire to frustrate my prayers, sometimes he tries to distract me, or in some way he makes me very tired and prevents me from continuing to pray. But until the last moment, I pray with perseverance. Then I say to the Lord, Lord, forgive my weaknesses. I offer them to you together with my prayer. I understand that the Lord allows me to see the frustration of the devil in the face of my perseverance. In any case, it is proven that the devil suffers when we adore God. I remember a long time ago, at the beginning of my spiritual life, how he tried to prevent me from praying the rosary, and on one occasion he snatched it from my hands. And naturally the devil has attacked me many times in dreams, but the Lord 
has always allowed me to be victorious on every occasion by using the name of Jesus and the Holy Cross. He has also taught me to invoke the name of the Virgin Mary to paralyze the demon. I recommend you watch the video of exorcism I did with the Blessed Virgin Mary, in which the demon was totally disarmed by the holy name of Mary. It is obvious that not every time we have divine assistance, but I'm going to tell you what happened to me recently. When I was praying, the devil changed my words, and I felt as if with them I was going to offend God, since on some occasions he has put blasphemies in my mouth. I said, no, not the devil again. And at that instant, I had a vision of the child Jesus. I saw him on a cloud in the form of a throne. He had a large golden crown, which he was trying to accommodate at the moment, because it seems that he had to act very fast to come to defend me. His real presence gave me back my courage, made me smile, and gave me back the clarity for prayer. From that moment on, I remember him fondly and call him my little child protector. To finish with, I ask you to learn this short prayer or jaculatoria that is demonstrated by spiritual attainment, which makes Satan furious. It is about thinking like Christ and desiring the salvation of human beings. Lord, I ardently desire and want the salvation of all mankind. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. Tell us, have you ever been attacked by the devil during prayer or in dreams? God bless you.